You're watching the Daily Market Comment by Raf Boyajian here at XM.com. I'm Christina Marujos. The US dollar appears to be on the rise again, mirroring a similar upward drive in 10-year Treasury yields in recent days. Expectations that the United States is moving closer to another big stimulus package lifted the greenback to near two-month highs against the basket of currencies yesterday. At the same time, fears about new COVID strains and the patchy vaccine rollout in Europe and elsewhere are preserving a certain degree of risk aversion in the markets, supporting safe havens. Ten Republican senators met with President Biden at the White House on Monday to propose a $618 billion alternative to Democrats' $1.9 trillion plan. However, unless the Republicans were to significantly up their offer, it's more likely that the Democrats will bypass the GOP by using the process of budget reconciliation to get their oversized package through both chambers of Congress. The prospect of more fiscal stimulus in America and expectations that the Fed will ignore any temporary spikes in inflation are certainly good news for stock markets. Most major indices in Asia closed higher by about 1% or more, while European shares also look set to post a second straight day of solid gains. U.S. stock futures, meanwhile, were last up by about 0.8%. The Nasdaq surged by 2.5% in anticipation of strong earnings results from the likes of Amazon and Google parent Alphabet. The busy earnings week might help detract attention away from the meme stocks whose rally appears to be losing steam. Silver, retail investors' newest target, was also down sharply today. With the recent volatile action coming under increasing scrutiny from regulators and the online trading platform Robinhood facing backlash for its decision to limit trading in those Reddit stocks, it will be interesting to see whether the frenzy will flare up again or die down. The Australian dollar managed to pick itself up following the RBA's unexpected decision to boost its bond purchases, but the currency nevertheless lagged its peers. The euro has managed to find some support from better-than-expected quarter-4 GDP readings for the eurozone. But persisting doubts about the EU's ability to clean up its vaccine mess and the prospect of prolonged lockdowns continue to put a damper on the currency. This was today's Daily Market Comment. Thanks for watching at XM.com.